Hey guys, what's happening? This is Forgo Nation, and today we're going to do a little catch up about Sneak Peek 1, and then we're going to talk about Sneak Peek 2. So let's get into it, you guys. Greetings, agents. This is Sam Fragment of Marvel Future Fight Team. I have received notice from my sources in the field that the mutants are on the move, so those of us at S.H.I.E.L.D. headquarters have begun an investigation into this sudden change in behavior. Our aim is to meet with them to discover the purpose of this spike in activity and enter negotiations about what this will mean in the future. Hmm, let's check this out. And then we scroll down here a little bit and we see this coding. Any of you guys have been reading comic books for a little while now, you know what this is. You know, this is the uh, House of X Powers of Tin comic book series, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. Full disclosure, you guys, I actually did not read this comic until like a couple hours before I started putting up this video. That's how recent I, re I read it. <laughs> but I did read all of it. I did check it out. Uh, pretty good story. I really liked it. There's some definitely some... Uh, I don't want to get any spoilers, but there's definitely some twists uh, in some, like, maybe a couple of the characters' personalities, uh, what they're doing. Uh, it's it's a pretty wild story. Uh, definitely check it out, guys. It's, it's, it's pretty awesome, I gotta say. I, I do like it. Uh... Agents, please help me to identify these individuals. Once you figure it out, please enter the correct answer in the link below. And then you guys know you gotta highlight this here and then click in Jean Grey or Eric. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna scroll down and look at this, man. This is kind of surprising to me. We got 23 dislikes. Wow. That actually kind of surprises me. Huh. But we're gonna scroll down here and I need to find one that's that's highlighted here. We'll click on this sucker here. And look at what we got, guys. So here we have Magneto. This is fantastic. This is fantastic. Magneto has been nothing but a freaking Shadowland powerhouse for eons, guys. That's all he's been. And I don't know about you, but I'm sick of it. This dude is an Omega level mutant. This dude deserves a whole lot more than what he has in this game. We'll talk a little bit more about that and what needs to be re helped, uh, replaced in his kid or changed because, man, he freaking sucks. He's amazing in Shadowland, but who freaking cares? Then we got our boy Wolverine. Yeah. So I've been wanting to tier three this guy forever, and I was going to do it anyways regardless. Once I, If I ever get those combat bucks, I'm still working on them. I still want to do Winter Soldier. I mean, Jesus, just waiting on that CCF. But this is amazing, guys. Wolverine. There's actually a moment in the story, and again, no spoilers, but there's a moment in the story where Wolverine, there's just this, oh, it's just awesome freaking moment that he has. Oh, my God. I love it so much. It's so cool. But this guy deserves it, too. I'm hoping and praying that he is not just a PvP god. That would be great, and that would be better than what he is now. But I'm hoping he's going to be a PvE monster. Unfortunately, I don't have him in Tier 3, so I really don't know how good he can do in PvE with the strikers that we have now. I have no idea. I mean, hell, who knows? He might be able to go all the way up to 99. Who knows? I really don't know. With the all-defense down thing, it's hard telling, guys. It really is. There's a lot of characters we've been able to do 99s with that I honestly didn't think could do it, so you never know. And then we have Jean Grey. Jean Grey. Say what? I mean, <laughs> we just put out two videos of this girl doing Stage 99 against Cole, Stage 99 against Apocalypse. She's done Stage 99 against Ebony. I mean, uh, Jean's already a ridiculous freaking powerhouse. I, I really don't know... What Net Marvel could do to this girl, I mean, I mean, what are they gonna do? She's already the number one in PvP. She's already up there, and I mean up there in the PvE content uh, characters as well. I mean, she's freaking amazing. We'll talk a little bit more her about her as, as well here in a second. Well, I guess that doesn't want to close out, so we'll have to close that out. We'll go back in here, bastard. Okay, so now we're going to check out Sneak Peek 2. Let's check this out. So, this is C and Fragment Marvel Future Fight Team. Here is an investigation update. This case is progressing quicker than I expected. I was able to successfully meet the mutants and learn about the motivation behind their sudden movements. Recently, the mutants have increased 
activity and preparation against the looming threat that aims to rid the world of mutants. We have decided to collaborate with the mutants in order to face this threat as a combined force. Please keep an eye out as we will be releasing an information the mutants have gathered so far so that our agents can prepare. Who is threatening the mutants? And then you get this nice little picture here. You guys probably already know who this is, I imagine. An ominous throne stands alone in a throne room. Can you use this clue to figure out who is behind this plot to destroy the mutants? Once you have identified a suspect, enter their name in the link below. And then you would highlight this here. And then you would type in Nimrod. And let me see if I can find on Nimrod. Now here we actually got quite a few likes and a few dislikes. Nice and good there. That's good. That's good to see. Uh, let's scroll down here. I need to find me a highlighted one here. For some reason on the emulator, I got to scroll down to where I got something highlighted where I clicked on before. It's the only way to work. I don't know why. But we're going to click on this, and here we have Nimrod. The nanotech robot god, more or less, is what he is. He's, he's a pretty bad mofo, but he's one of the main antagonists to the story. That's no real spoiler. But uh, he actually does something in the comic in that run that I think he couldn't actually do. Uh, I, honestly, guys, like something happens with him and another character, and you guys know who I'm talking about. An amazing, powerfully powerful character, and Nimrod pretty much destroys that character. And I actually thought in that run, at least that moment was kind of stupid. Uh, that character should have beat the living hell out of Nimrod, in my opinion. But let's talk about a little speculation about this guy. What could Nimrod be? Is he going to be a playable character? Personally, I would freaking love it. I would love it. You know, whenever Galactus, the GBR came, before we knew it was going to be GBR, I was hoping Galactus was going to be a playable character. You know, I was hoping that, uh, you know, and then we could have the GBR on top of it. You know, have the playable, just like the Sentinel with Master Mole. That would be awesome. Uh, so I'm kind of hoping we get the better of both worlds. I'd love to see some new content, some new GBR, but improve the rewards, get rid of that type enhancement crap, or do something where we get guaranteed uh, rankings when we, we rank up a character to rank five to rank six and so on and so on that would make that so much better and if this guy's a GBR boss that'd be awesome I'd love to see him as a playable character uh, maybe offer some kind of bonus or support to the Sentinels I mean we'll see guys we will see but pretty cool pretty cool that Nimrod's coming to the game really excited about that so let's talk about these three characters who we know are getting uniforms let's talk about Wolverine first Wolverine guys so Wolverine something I don't want to see on this guy is all defense down I don't want to see it I know a lot of people are like all defense down all defense down no no if he has all defense down he's gonna be much more difficult to play guys the other thing I don't want to see is because you're you know whenever you're playing you're trying to time we've done all these crazy videos with the 99s if he has all defense down especially if it's an all defense down that starts off at 2% right and then it stacks up to 50%. I mean, if Weapon X comes in afterwards, he's going to have to do, you know, 25 hits to get to that, to get to the max kill cooldown. I'm actually, my math's probably a little bit wrong, but you get what I'm saying. He's going to have to do a tremendous amount of hits to get to 100% all defense down. That sucks. It would be better if he didn't have all defense down. That way, unless they nerf it, we could have the, you know, Sue Storm Weapon X combo, the Captain America Weapon X combo, that would be better in my opinion. Just make this guy have a lot more power. Just give him a lot more power. Give him damage accumulation based on how much damage you deal. That would be amazing. If they want to keep this freaking goofy third skill that actually has a counter, make it to where it lasts longer, to where off you can get the counter. The increased damage by 100% for two attacks is terrific. Because when you do the counter, he'll do one attack, and then you can go into your fist skill afterwards and do the main damaging skill and still get this 100% attack because it lasts for two attacks. Keep that, but make it to where the counter lasts longer. It's so brief. It's very difficult to pull off. I'd also like to see some damn skill changes. Change his freaking skills. I don't know about you guys, but I'm really sick of looking at the damn fist skill i mean this was a really amazing skill in the beginning but or just have him do more slashes you know i don't want to see the same old crap 
I want to see, will we get it done? But really just give him more damage. Give him that damage accumulation based on how much damage he deals. You know, uh, scroll up here. His tier three, I mean, he's got the all defense down on it. Now, here's the, the case where the all defense down could be good. If they did like what they did with Doctor Strange where you got some ridiculous all defense down that starts off at 60%. So if Weapon X comes in afterwards, you get automatic 100%. If they did something like that, oh, never mind. Wolverine's tier three does have that damage accumulation I was talking about. I actually forgot about that. Okay, cool. But if they did that for Wolverine, gave him the same kind of all defense down that Doctor Strange has, that would be one case where I'd like all defense down. But I really don't want to see it other than that, unless he gets some ridiculous amount, like it starts off at 15 or 30%, something like that. But if it's one of them all defense downs that starts off at 2%, nah. Nope, 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 don't want to see it. Bastard always goes to the home screen here. Alright. Now we got Magneto. Magneto needs the most love out of all three of these guys. This dude should be so much more powerful and magneto's you know he's freaking an amazing character because of this damn tier 2 passive the increase all debuff effect by 10 percent duration by 20 percent which amplifies a ctb of rage or a damage proc this is an amazing thing plus he's got the increased damage out to human characters by 80 percent could be very useful in pvp but he needs more survivability I mean, he's got like the little iframes on the three and the one, on the four, but he really needs some freaking invincibility, some immunity. That's what he needs. He needs immunity, invincibility. Maybe he needs some kind of like uh, some kind of magnetism thing where he gets a decreased damage received. That would be awesome. I'm mean, whoops. I don't know why I clicked on that. What was this passive here? I actually forgot. Yeah, give him some kind of decreased damage received, something like that. I mean, make him a little bit more of a tank where he's got like some kind of magnetic shield around him. Something like that would be pretty cool. But just give him more damage. And again, the same with the all defense down that I said about Wolverine, guys. I don't want to see that crap. If you're going to have it where it doesn't apply to World Boss and you're using it in Shadowland, okay, fine, you know, okay. I mean, that's how this is right here. The second skill, it applies to Shadowland, but it doesn't work in, in World Boss, you know. It's just that Magneto's just, he just sucks in World Boss. He dies way too easy, and he just doesn't have the pep that he deserves. And now Jean Grey. Now, honestly, guys, Jean don't need no damn uniform. She don't need no uniform. I mean, I love Jean. She's one of my favorite characters in all of Marvel. But she don't need no damn uniform. This thing is broken as it is. This uniform is broken as it is. I mean, this is like the same thing whenever Luna got a uniform. And then when Sharon got a uniform. I mean, even when Namor got a damn uniform. They, you know, at the time that they got uniforms, they just didn't need it. And Jean doesn't. She is by far, like, honestly, guys. Like, I know some of you might disagree with me on this one. But... I would like to see this fist skill. I'd like to see that damn guard break penetration crap get removed. That is so broken it's not even funny. But having said that, if you take that away, well, then it's going to be goodbye using CTPs of rage on her. You know, you're going to have to have immunity to guard break obelisk on her if her fist skill does not guard break, uh, guard break immunity. If it doesn't penetrate guard break immunity, you're going to have to have it. Uh, in order to really play her, you know, so, I mean, yeah, kind of sucks, you know, uh, I've heard some people say some things about her, like her, her heel? Uh, her heel should stay. This is the Phoenix. Her heel should stay. <laughs> I mean, she's pretty, I mean, she's, uh, I mean, she's the Phoenix. I mean, come on, guys. She should be broken, so, really, I just don't understand why she's getting a uniform. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of indifferent about it, guys. I'm not, like, happy or down about it. I'm just kind of like, what the F? Like, why? Like, uh, I, I get it. I mean, but she really isn't very... She's in the House of X Power of Ten story. She's not real prominent. You know, she just really isn't. I mean, she's there, of course, but she's not real prominent. I, honestly, guys, it feels almost kind of like a cash grab. It, it really does, because everybody... We all know. If this uniform, this next uniform ends up being OP, guess what? We're all going to buy it. We're all going to buy it. And we're all going to be like, oh, it's so awesome. Oh, it's so awesome. Right? So 
I don't know, guys. I'm kind of, like I said, I, I don't really know what I think about it. I mean, she's... I mean, maybe they could change her tier 3, give it more pep. I mean, I don't know. Like, no matter what they do, they're going to make her even broken than what she is. You know, if they give her a new uniform, take away the guard break penetration, well, people are just going to go back to this uniform and use it. So, I don't know what they're going to do. I really don't. And, and you know what? Something else about this update... You know, this is kind of off topic, guys, but you know, with the next update, they could nerf the all defense downs. And maybe then I would want all defense down these other characters. I mean, I don't really know. Uh, I, I don't really know. I mean, Gene is damn broken, guys. Damn broken. So I don't really know what to expect from that. But all in all, I'm pretty excited. I highly recommend you guys reading the House of X Powers of Ten. Uh, storyline it's it's really good man pretty interesting story so let me know what you guys how you feel about uh, this update and let me know if you guys like are excited about you know any of these characters getting uniforms or that you're not or that you're just not excited about an X-Men update I know a lot of people when it comes to the mutants they're kind of eh, they don't like the mutant updates <laughs> but let me know how you're feeling about it guys so I hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching Y'all take care and have a good one.